Welcome to The Adult Man. My name's William. Today, I'm reviewing seven months of Bespoke Post. Stick around to the end. I'm gonna be unboxing two of my latest boxes live, and then I'm also gonna review some of the classics. So let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up, super helpful for the channel, and I really appreciate it. So as I said, I'm gonna go, I've had Bespoke Post for seven months now. Stick around to the end because I have two packages here that I don't even really remember what they are, but I'm gonna unbox them live here and just give you my first impressions. But also, if there's only one or two reviews that you wanna take a look at, you can go down below. I have time stamped and I have, I have them chaptered out. You can kind of check out some individual bespoke post reviews as I go through them. So if you wanna you know, check out just the Alchemy or just the Weekender, you can skip straight to that review down below. Or if you wanna check out what seven months of bespoke post looks like, then stick around, watch the whole thing. My first bespoke post package is a classic. It is the Weekender. Now, the Bespoke Post Weekender, this is a line of trade bag. And basically it is a kind of old school style bag, um, just a single hand clasp. It came with a shoulder strap. I haven't been using this shoulder strap. I don't really think it's comfortable with the shoulder strap. And I, I personally just like to carry it like this. I think that's, you know, I think it just looks really cool. Um, but it's a canvas bag, it has an aluminum frame, leather handles, these two straps right here, that's what closes it. And that's basically it. Um, it's also got some studs here on the bottom that really help it, you know, it's not gonna scratch up the canvas on the bottom. And this has a uh, piece of, I don't know, maybe it's like cardstock or something, something heavy and flat so that this lies perfectly and doesn't lose its shape. What I like about this bag, now I've had this again for, this is now I think what I guess seven months now that I've had this bag, uh, it's really durable. I love just how you can kind of load it up, pick it up and go. It fits really nicely into the trunk of my car. There's like a little spot in the back. So it almost doesn't even take up any extra room when I pack and I'm going. So yeah, I'm a really big fan of this bag. I think for me and everything in this bespoke post review, keep in mind, I'm gonna be basically comparing it to like, is it worth at least, you know, the bespoke post when you buy it is $55 but if you subscribe, it's $45. So I'm gonna be comparing everything to that, that price. So for $45, I mean, to me, this is a 60 or 70 or maybe even $80 bag. I don't remember what their, their value that they say it, it, it's originally at, but to me, this is a fantastic deal at $45. So I'm a huge fan of the Bespoke Post Weekender. My second package from Bespoke Post was the Aged Box. Now it came with two tumbler glasses that kind of sit cattywampus. I don't know exactly how to say that, but they sat off center and they look really, really cool. Um, we ended up giving those away to a friend because we really liked as they come over to our house and they're like, those are awesome. And we're like, hey, you should have them because we have so many glasses already. But uh, I still held on to this little bottle and basically these are charred oak staves. Right now I'm aging at Negroni. So that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, basically you can load this up with any spirit you want. I tried it with rum, I tried it with tequila, I even tried it with vodka. And it just adds this really creamy kind of like vanilla, uh, yeah, really like nice smooth texture, even a texture and taste to whatever spirit you put in there. Uh, I've aged some old fashions in here. It kind of adds a little bit of that sweetness, a little bit of that, a little hint of vanilla into anything you put in here. So you can definitely take the edge off of some cheaper spirits, which is what I did with some rum. And uh, it, I took some like just garbage rum, put it in here and it actually tasted pretty good afterwards. It was definitely drinkable. Um, so yeah, this is just an awesome little thing to have in, in your in your uh, cocktail arsenal. You just load this up with say, like for me, I'm doing a groaning right now, but if you had an old fashioned or a Manhattan or anything like that, I mean, whatever your favorite drink is, you keep it loaded up here. It, it has about four drinks in there. That's about the max capacity. So four cocktails. So it's not gonna be great for like a huge party, but if you're having a date night and you wanna kind of like bust something out that's really impressive, boom, Bespoke Post aged. I'm a big fan of it. For my third month with Bespoke Post, I ended up getting the Flip. Now this is essentially uh, in this package, you get this amazing Damascus steel uh, pocket knife. 
and you basically get this rosewood handle, amazing Damascus steel blade. Uh, it's got brass accents and it also comes with a leather pouch and a uh, honing steel. So this is from Real Simple Tools. That's R-I-L-L, -L, Simple Tools. This knife is, uh, I've, I've really enjoyed it. It's been my unboxing knife for all the things that I get here at the Adult Man. It's a really stunning blade. It's a really classy looking knife. So I'm a huge fan of this again, like, this is to me an $80 knife and to get this for $45, total steal. My fourth month with Bespoke Post, but I got a task organizer, it's a small notebook. And then I also got this watch from Breda. Um, I'm looking at this and this watch from Breda just really wasn't very impressive to me. I have a whole, I'm a big watch collector. I'm a big watch guy. If you wanna see some of my watch reviews and some of the stuff I have in my collection, go up there. I have a whole playlist of some of our watch reviews and recommendations. But yeah, Breda, they just didn't quite meet my standard. They, I believe they say this watch retails for around like 95, 100 bucks or something like that. But I just didn't see that. Um, to me, this is more like a $25 watch. And so the task organizer plus what I view is like a $25 watch doesn't quite add up to that $45 value. So month four bespoke post, that was a little bit of a disappointment for me. My fifth month with bespoke post, I ended up getting one of the classics uh, it is the Bespoke Post Alchemy. Now, this comes with a uh, Japanese style stainless steel jigger. It comes with a bar spoon slash muddler, which is a cool tool. This bitter cube orange bitters, which are really, really good. They go great in a old fashioned. And it also comes with a Boston style uh, stainless steel shaker, which is basically a small, I don't know, 16 ounce or 12 ounce, and then you get your taller one. And if you wanna make a drink, boom. Thing like that and you shake it up and then you can kind of strain it like that and so on. I guess it goes more like that, but yeah, you strain it out like that. So pretty cool. These are basic bar tools, um, super handy to have in your cabinet, like in your arsenal. You got to have these tools if you want to make anything, uh, any classic drinks like a whiskey sour or a margarita or anything like that. This package also came with some square ice cubes. Those are in my freezer right now. They have ice in them. So that's been a huge upgrade. I didn't have great ice for my cocktails and now I do. So I did a price check on Amazon and I went and I found each of these individual pieces uh, and they're kind of inexpensive. They're like really cheap versions. I found that you could get these for under $45. But when you get to the quality here, like this Boston style shaker, it's got a very heavy bottom. It's excellent quality stainless steel and same goes with the jigger as well. Um, basically you're looking at like $70 if you want this type of quality, this good quality uh, bar equipment that you can have around for years, or you could kind of go to Amazon, get the really, really cheap version for around $40. And to me, Bespoke Post, this was $45. I'm getting the high quality. I'm paying $5 more for way better quality. So that's me, big win in my book. So those are the five months that I've had so far. Now I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna unbox two of my brand new shipments of Bespoke Post and just give you my first initial thoughts, my initial impressions on them. I'm getting out my Bespoke Post flip knife from Real Simple Tools. And we're gonna open this first one up. So again, like I knew what these were at a time, but I've since forgotten. So it's basically new to me. Like I don't really know what I'm what I'm getting into here. Oh uh, yes, the Bespoke Post Cheers. This one is for you Cicerones out there. That is a term for beer lovers. Um, but boom, bottle opener. That's pretty cool. Here I got a nice growler. This is way bigger than I expected. I actually saw this on the website and I thought it was gonna be like this big, but this is actually a legit size growler. So that is awesome. And it's got the little flip top. Nice, that's critical. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, hopefully they can, I can get that done at a brewery. Sometimes they don't let you do your own growlers at breweries, but I think my local one will. Shout out to Wise Man Brewery right here, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, great beer. And then it also comes with some glasses right here. And these are kind of the nice. These are the Belgian style glasses. These goes really well with, um, you do IPAs in these, but basically I would, I would drink, almost broke it right there. I would drink probably Belgian style beers out of these. They got that, that classy style, they got the stem. 
that's what that's a nice combo i'm a huge beer fan so for me this is clutch all right guys a lot of things happened when i was unboxing the over easy box so i'm not going to do the full unboxing again i'm going to explain what i got in my box here uh but basically uh over easy it's a cast iron pan it comes with bloody mary mix pancake mix and some delicious looking real vermont maple syrup i love this stuff super excited about that it also comes with a leather pan holder for the cast iron pan. So when I open up this box, the Sucker Punch Gourmet Bloody Mary Mix, it looks like it got busted open in shipping. That also probably leaked onto this cast iron pan, so it caused it to rust a little bit right there. So that's a little bit of a disappointment to, you know, one of the main features of this box uh, opened up, but really I'm probably gonna throw away the Bloody Mary Mix because once it's open, you know, you, I think you just gotta toss it. Uh, but basically this cast iron pan, yes, it has a little bit of rust on it. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I've brought back some rust on, on cast iron pans before. All you gotta do is just hit it with some water, uh, use the steel wool, scrub off the rust, and then I'm just gonna oil it, put it in the oven for an hour at 350, and that should be good as new. So when I moved from San Francisco to North Carolina two years ago, I left my cast iron pan at home, so I haven't had one of these. And so this is kind of what I really, really love about Bespoke Post. With Alchemy and the bar tools, with the aged, um, you know, the aged oak staves, those are kind of things that I never would have bought for myself or, you know, I had in mind to buy, like Alchemy's bar tools. I had in mind to buy those things, but, you know, it just never really came around. Since I've been subscribed to Bespoke Post, I've gotten some things that really I'm like, oh man, I've always, like I've been wanting that for two years, but I just never got around to buying it because other things come up here and there. This cast iron pan is exactly that. So I'm super excited to have it. So that's it guys. That's my bespoke post review. I've gotten way more value out of, out of this subscription than many of my other subscriptions. Um, you know, each box coming in at 45 bucks. There's been a couple disappointments. Again, the watch uh, and then having the busted Bloody Mary mix, those, those were disappointments. But besides that, uh, you know, this knife I use all the time. Alchemy, that was huge and kind of boosting my bar game. In addition to aged, um, you know, these this beer growler and the glasses, I'm gonna use that all the time. I'm gonna go fill that up today. So really, you know, you're just getting this awesome shipment. It's really exciting to get. So I'm a big fan of that. And I think the value is totally there. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up. I'm hoping to update this post. I'm gonna stay subscribed to Bespoke Post. So hopefully we get another six down the road in six months and we'll just do another review. Let me know if that's something you wanna see. Comment down below. And until next time, stay manly.